What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies Heroes and today I'm going to be showcasing a brand new card now available in Early Access uh, through the uh, Time Warp bundles, but basically if you check this out right here, it's not Mega Grow, it's a Smarty Plant. Smarty Plant right here, it is called Snake Grass. It's a little expensive, it costs four. It's a leafy animal plant, it's a 3-2, it's amphibious, and start of turn, make another snake grass in the lane to the right. So basically the concept is, uh, you once you know round four is here, if you can plant it in the leftmost lane, uh, then it will gradually each turn grow, 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 until it finally ends up in uh, you, you know the, the, the far amphibious lane, the far right amphibious lane. And uh, that's if you can keep them alive, you can keep them going. Um, the, the other cool thing, like let's say you have one in the left lane, and it makes one in the lane immediately to the right, and then that one dies, well, the next turn, it makes another one to the right. And so, um, I made a Citron deck at first, because I was thinking, well, if I make a, if I make a deck, I'm going to want to have a lot of protection for it. So I made a Citron deck. It didn't go too well. I was playing it a lot in single player. I wasn't winning. Um, but basically, you know, I have a lot of uh, things to kind of protect the snake grass. So I can just grow and grow and grow. Um, I wasn't winning, though. Um, I just wasn't. I was trying to do, like, a, a nut-based deck. Um, because I was, you know, putting a lot of nuts to protect it, so I was going to try to use Mirror Nut, and, it, and it, it just wasn't going my way. And so, uh, in my Discord chat, I have a Discord server, the link is probably in the description, but I asked if, if anyone has any ideas, and someone mentioned, uh, to use, um, I, the Muscle Sprout. Was that, was the name Muscle Sprout? Yes, Muscle Sprout. Because he gets 1-1 one, one when you play another plant, so, you know, each time a snake grass is played, he, he gains, right? And so I started kind of working around that, and then I kind of noticed something that's really cool, and I hadn't thought about this before. I was using a lot of team ups here to, so that I, the same idea where he would, the snake grass would kind of grow behind my team up. So I have a team up here, 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 and um, and you know uh, that's pretty good on its own. Now not everything's a team up here. I could maybe bring in some torch woods or or whatever, but I have ample team ups to start us off and kind of protect him. Uh, and then I have, you know, bonus attacks where if a snake grass gets in any danger and you can strike first. Um, but I kind of noticed something with this, with this, it's a bean, so I'm like, well, this guy's a bean. Uh, this guy's a bean, and maybe I'll put him in here, but this is a bean trick to, you know, bounce anything in case snake grass gets endangered. Uh, meanwhile, this guy can grow a little bit. Uh, but the thing that I realized is that this might be one of the, the better cards to use with snake grass. My dog's barking. This might be one of the better cards to use with snake grass because it's a team up, but also when played, all amphibious plants get plus one, plus one, which means these, which are, are also team up, as well as snake grass itself can get plus one, plus one. So it's kind of a mega grow snake grass style of deck that uses beans. Uh, maybe, you know, it'll do some direct damages. I'm not focusing around the beans. I'm trying to kind of make it all encompassing. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. Of course, if you look at the powers here, we can embiggen or do a precision blast to protect the snake grass or even chill to protect the snake uh, grass as well. So a lot of cool options. I'm going to show you a single player round first and then we're going to move into ranked battle. So here we go. All right, we're going to take this deck into single player mode. Of course, it's against Professor Brainstorm and I like doing this because it gets us to show like a great variety of stuff because he's going to be playing a great variety. And so a lot of my stuff is based on bonus attacks, um, but also we have, uh, uh, what do I want to do? I want to maybe get rid of him for now. Yeah, that, that looks a little bit better. This looks good. I'm going to go ahead and rock with this. And, um, you know, the reason why I still have, you know, some of these cheaper things that may not seem to make sense. Uh, like it doesn't, like th this doubled mint doesn't really do anything with snake grass. It doesn't really interface at all. But I have it because it's. In t it, I can't play snake, gra snake grass until round four. So it's almost like once I reach round four, my strategy can start switching. So we're gonna start right now. Um, it's, we're gonna start initially with the doubled mint strategy. I'm gonna try to play play it behind there. Should be fine as long as it doesn't get directly destroyed. And of course, the other strategy is to play the uh, black eyed pea as well. But I'm gonna try to get the double mint kind of just going here. I think it's gonna be important. I'm gonna play one behind here. So you know, I thought, yeah, there you go. And I thought about it. I thought about what I, what, what can I do? And I, I thought maybe putting rescue radish in in case like, like something's in the way. Like I really want snake grass to spread. All right, gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I'm not gonna freeze yet. I don't think it's necessary to freeze yet. It's a good idea, but I don't, I'm not gonna do it yet. 
So she's going to become a 3-3 uh, three, three next round. And that's when I'll probably freeze. Or I might bounce her. I don't know. All right. Bouncing her could be cool, but ultimately... Oh, great. So, yeah, I'm thinking... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is a little excessive, right? So, if we want to bounce... Yeah, I definitely want to bounce her. And then I want to freeze her. There we go. All right, nice try. All these dance... I can't believe he drew so many dancing zombies. All right, here we go. Again, no snake grass still, but we'll figure out how this is gonna work, I think, very soon. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Well, um, <laughs> this is a little crazy. Uh, that's obviously a big deal. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. And this is a 3-3, three, three, right? Yeah, all right, I, this is kind of a sacrifice, but I'm gonna have to do it. Here we go. Now, uh, I might, I will actually, I'll live through that. That's exciting. Blocked. Okay. All right. And he actually gets boosted a little bit. So he's now a 6'2". All right, I'm gonna block my next hit, most likely. So, you know. I don't really know what I should do right now. Obviously, I want to protect him. I guess I'll do that. I'll protect him there and protect him there. There we go. Alrighty. I'm going to block the, the three. I won't block that, though. That's okay. It's only two. He's going to get beefed up even more. That's another trick that's going to beef him up as well. And where this is really going to come in handy is once I get, once it's the eighth round and I, I can, uh, wow. Why, why? Why him? Plus two. What does that do? You should give it to someone who's going to live. I don't get it. I don't understand this strategy. Once I get the espresso beans, it's going to be game over for him. And I didn't even get to play snake grass yet. So, all right, sure. Blocked. Uh, three in the middle lane. Might as well do it now. Might as well just get him out of there right now. All right. I still don't have the espresso beans, but, you know, we're getting close. All right. So, with that said, I'm going to do my best to protect this guy. Actually, he may not need protection unless it's a deadly. It could be a deadly. Let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. It is a deadly. I guess correctly. My goodness. So like I said, uh, this could go away where, uh, you know, I have cards in here to do a completely different strategy if I don't get snake grass by the fourth, by the fourth round. And it seems like that's the case. I have four of them in the deck. But uh, this is also a case of where I could ro royally mess up. Um, so we have snake grass. Now, here's the problem. Snake grass is no longer my main strategy. Um, it really isn't. Oh, jeez. Um, with that said, I can play both of these. I have no idea what he has planned, but I can do this. Then I can do this. Because he's going to give the amphibious. It's only a 4-3, though. Another deadly. Here we go. See, he's not protecting the second lane, oddly enough. Oh, random plant. No! Who's it gonna be? Oh, don't, uh, oh man, that's a shame. Oh well. Boom, for 13. Cancel out right there. Locked. Uh, do I really wanna bounce a random zombie right now? No, the answer is no, I'd rather wait. Because that guy might be protected. There we go. That's exactly what I want. This is great news. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and want to bounce a random zombie, just in case it frees up a space for him. It does, oh, so lucky. I didn't even get really a chance to play Snake Grass. But uh, let's do it again. Let's do another single player. Hopefully we'll have Snake Grass and I can show. I wanna just show you guys how it can grow and work. Uh, there wasn't a great opportunity because although I had four in my deck, I didn't get to show that. So uh, let's try another one. All right, we're gonna do this again. Hopefully we will have Snake Grass by the fourth round. If not, I have other ways to win, as I showed. So, uh, we do have a snake grass. I'm going to keep that in there. I'm going to cycle out. Uh, this is awfully expensive. Mm, that's okay. It's kind of pricey. Um, see, I don't know if I want it right now. Okay, let's just keep it in. Uh, it's going to take me a long time. What I am going to do, actually, this could be really cool. I'm going to embiggen my sweet potato. I'm just going to play it, and then embiggen it next round if possible. And then I'll get us started. I know I don't get to really leverage, but she's going to be a 2-5. I don't really get to leverage her ability, but that's okay. There you go. See, this is where it gets kind of cool, is I get to do this, and then I do get to embiggen her. And then we have space for our, our guy to grow, which is really cool. Because those are all team up. And this is kind of the, the main strategy I had in mind when I was making the deck. But I put other stuff in there as well that just didn't really, you know, conform. So. Here we go. Nice. Uh, it really depends on what, what, what I draw. Okay, nice. Two snake grasses. Okay. Alright, this is exciting. In a way. Oh wow, Gargan no, we're not gonna want that to happen. So let's go ahead and boost that guy up. Here we go. Snake Grass is gonna be played next. So I have a pretty clear layout of where this is going, should nothing go wrong. All right, here we go, Snake Grass is coming in. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good for much later. All zombies get plus two, yikes. Uh, so with that said, I can do a couple of things. Let's do the snake grass. Let's let it grow. It's gonna be planted there soon. All right, nice. That guy, I can't believe I'm kind of ignoring that guy in the middle. I really shouldn't be. All right, that's fine as well. Oh, great. Yeah, that's deadly. Ugh. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm gonna do this. So, it's gonna make the snake grass live. Not so bad, right? Oh, great. Draw two cards, that's fine. Here we go. That guy is getting bigger at the end. That's okay. I'm trying to make it to the eighth round because I have two of these bonus attacks, so it's going to be really insane. Oh, ouch. Okay. All right, so what do we do? What do we do here, huh? It's a real conundrum in a way. Okay, so... I don't have to care too much. But I want this guy to survive, to pass on his snake grass to the next lane. So here we go. Hopefully this works. I don't mind too much that one of the snake grass is getting taken out because he's gonna appear. You're gonna see two snake grass are going to appear next round. Oh man, but the five, I'm gonna block the five. That's the great thing. That's why I haven't gotten too worried about him yet. Blocked. Bounce a random zombie, it's gonna be him. That's good, that's good. Okay, that's better than, okay, it's four. It's 10 to 14 though. Two snake grass are going to appear. These guys do not have team up on their own. I'm relying on other team ups to save them, basically. All right. So we gotta think, what do we wanna do? Okay, sure, do whatever you must. So there's really no reason for me to not play the other snake grass right now. So I don't know what to do. And I don't know why he played him in that order. 
There's really no reason for me to not play it, but I might as well just hold on to it because there's really no reason for me to play it. Here we go. Now just watch. I mean, this is this is almost entirely snake grass strategy. This is nothing else. This is just letting the snake grass grow. And and then just watch how this happens. This plays out. This is gonna play out great. Two snake grass are going to appear next round. And I'm on my eighth round, so I'm able to. Uh, one of them's gonna be in the water. There you go. I mean, what more do you want? This is great. I have so many options. And I'm going to have to use uh, this option right here. Three bonus attacks. Should be enough. Let's find out if we, if we end up doing it. One. Two. He blocked it, but we get one more. Nice. So, yeah, look at that. Snake grass really helped. Victory. So, that's a snake grass strategy right there. Um, like I said, this deck that I made uh, is pretty versatile. I, the first victory I didn't even use Snake Grass, so let's uh, let's uh, try it out in ranked mode and see where we get. Uh, but for right now, I think this is a pretty good idea, and I have to credit. Uh, if I take a look, I have to credit on my Discord server. Um, this was uh, Shy Janie said that use Snake Grass with Muscle Sprout. She said, and so uh, that's what I did. Uh, to get me started along this line of thinking because I, re I really wasn't even thinking about using green shadow or even beans But it seems To be really really cool the way that that works. So uh, we're gonna take this into ranked All right, let's see this gets to level 35 Let's see how I do with this uh, snake grass deck That's too expensive for now Um Okay, let's let's go with this. Let's see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. I don't even know, but we'll see. Okay. Start targeting him right now. If he's gonna play right off the bat, I'm gonna play right off the bat. All right. Let's see what happens. I got another one for you. All right, perfect strategy, perfect start. You know, it's what you would expect. Um, I'm gonna play this and uh, freeze her. Good start, I think this is a good start. He doesn't have any brains. I'm basically laying a foundation for my snake grass to grow across. And since it seems like we're doing a snake grass strategy, then let's do a snake grass strategy. Let's see what he does with, uh, okay, amphibious, that's fine. I'm gonna counter it with that and then play this. All right. Snake grass will be coming next turn. This is kind of cool. Fight. We got uh, boom, boom, and cancellation right there. That's good. So I'm going to play snake grass if I can. If it makes sense to play snake grass, that's what I'm going to do. Ooh. The strike through is a little annoying right there, but. We can deal with it. Here we go. Snake grass coming in. So he's going to get plus two, plus two when it destroys a plant, which is annoying. I'll probably bounce him next turn. Or, no, I'll probably bounce him. I'll have to bounce him. Ouch. Oh man, he's gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bounce him. He's he's investing everything in this, so I'm gonna have to bounce him. Snake grass is gonna take over, but I'm gonna have to bounce him. He's really. Pa Whoa, God, I forgot about that aspect of it. Okay. Okay, good. Oh man, that's terrible. Okay. The problem is that just you know the it's just so like what do I do? Um.
I can have him get plus one and do a bonus attack. He's gonna give Yeti lunchbox to that guy. Bounce him. Oh man, plants here get negative one, negative one. So we're gonna cancel each other out here. This decent snake grass counter. Oh, I thought he, I thought he would have brains to give him a lunchbox. That's okay. Eleven to twelve, and plus he just bounces. So uh, a new snake grass does appear. And it really just depends on what he does to determine what I do. I can't have that happen. No, I just can't have that happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I don't know what he has planned. He has a lot of extra brains left. So there we go. Snake grass did a little cobra strike. All right, minus one, minus one. That's fine. I'm gonna boost him back up with one, one in a second. Um, oh, jeez. So I, I didn't even get to use muscle sprout, and I might, not, I might take muscle sprout out of the deck, even though the idea got me to examine it. So let's see what needs to happen here. All right. So what I need to happen is I need to do. Yeah, so I don't really know, but I'm going to move the Yeti there. And then I'm going to protect, try to protect protect the snake grass so that it grows. Oh, strike through. Oh, but she's going to move to another lane. Crazy. But it's gonna, she's going to move to another lane. Let's see where she goes. That's seven in that lane right there that he may not block. But he might because I'm going to do three damage. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're each going to do three damage to each other. Four. Uh, and I, I mean, if she doesn't block, I could win if she doesn't block. Let's see. She's gonna block. He's gonna block. Yeah, darn, he blocked my best one. Let's see what happens. Bounce a random plant. I get to do a bonus attack next round. Please be the bean. Nope. But snake grass gets to appear there anyway, so this is good on its own. There you go, snake grass. So any of these snakes can attack him and win right now. That's the beauty of this, is that the snake, any of these snakes can attack him and win right now. So just choose your poison. It's gonna be this one. Victory. Very cool. And so hopefully you kind of get to see how this deck can shine. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, snake grass. I mean, can I mean it's kind of just an interesting card to use. Uh, I think it worked out pretty well. So yeah, thanks for watching so much. I hope I did a good job showcasing what you can do. If you have any other ideas uh, for how to use snake grass, please let me know in the comments below. Like, what other good synergies would work? What other good combos? Please let me know in the comments below. All right, I'm gonna try another one. Uh, the, the otherwise this video would be really short. I did lose my pr uh, previous one that I tried uh, against a bunch of engineers. It was really kind of scary to be honest. But <laughs> I'm gonna cycle out some of the expensive stuff. Whatever. Okay. I know I had the snake grass, but I figured you know maybe I would get it. I, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. I maybe made a big mistake doing so. Let's find out what he's gonna do. Sure, we'll do that. <laughs> Here we go. Fair trade. We each do two. Boom. Gotcha. So instead of, uh, you know, something moving into his lane, I'm going to bring him into my lane. Uh, so yeah, move a zombie to this lane. And then I'm going to embiggen him. I think. There we go. Let's see what happens. I don't know. He might buff him up somehow. Oh, I can't believe he didn't counter that somehow. Interesting. So that's a pretty good opening for me. 
I might start. I might go with the muscle muscle sprout strategy then. Just depending on how this goes. The question is going to be like, am I going to find any of these worth defending? I don't know. Plant gets minus two. Who's it going to be? Interesting strategy. I don't know why he didn't do it. Okay, but anyway. Okay, here we are in fourth round of snake grass. Let's see how we handle this. I don't like that. In fact, I kind of want to take care of that immediately. All right. I know how that can grow out of hand. Blocked. 16 to 10 already. Ah, oh, 16 to 16, nice. All right, well, let's just see what we can do here. I'm gonna play several cards. I might overwhelm him a little bit, but. All right, and then keep in mind, he's gonna have a lot to think about for this one. I don't know if he has chickening or something. If he has chickening, it's gonna kill like everything, except for my muscle sprout. There we go. Not a bad choice. I would've done the same thing. Okay. Yep. So, <laughs> here we go. I don't have very many cards, though. 16 to 12. No snake grass yet. It's a shame. Let's see what happens. Yep. Yep. Weed spray. That's like both of the beans. 16 to 7. Yeah, I gotta play it. I don't really have a choice. I gotta play it. So... Darn it. I don't block that, though. That's a real shame. Alright. I don't know. I'm running low. I need some real cards soon. Blocked. Gosh, man. He's handling me pretty good right now. I could really use like another card or something. All right. All right, that's gonna definitely work for him. I don't know what his trick phase looks like here. I need to just accept that hit. The reason why is because I have the espresso beans. So we'll see if I can... I'm hoping to block the second hit. Nope. The espresso beans are going to have to come in handy like right now. So I didn't get to use a, a snake grass. But, I did get to win. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. Well guys, thanks for watching. That puts me, that, that's a pretty solid victory right there. Thanks for watching, come back next time for more. I'll see you then. I'm still at a 310. But goodbye, and thank you for watching. You can see how this deck could help even if you don't get to use snake grass. You can see how it can help. I think I've showed it both with and without snake grass for both ranked and single player. Uh, even though I have snake grass in the deck, I just didn't draw it, so. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.